Hello oh, and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through on how to utilize the Hyper Backup Explorer application on your computer to browse and restore backup data from your Synology NAS device. So without further delay, let's go ahead and jump right to it. All right, so to kick things off, head over to Synology.com in your browser of choice. And then the quickest way to get to the download center is just to scroll to the bottom to their footer. And in the support column, you will see a link to the download center. Inside of the download center, uh, you can scroll through to find your Synology NAS device, or you can just type in the model number. I actually have a couple different Synology devices, so I'm just gonna choose one of them that I have. And then you'll be brought to a list of all the different uh, applications that are compatible with your Synology NAS device. So we're gonna go ahead and just find Hyper Backup Explorer, uh, which is right here. Uh, you can just control F to search the web page if you don't find it right off the bat, but I actually found it pretty quickly. And then of course, download the pertinent files uh, for the operating, operating system that you're using, whether that be Windows, Mac, or one of the Linux distributions. I'm gonna go ahead and download the zip file and then we'll take off from there. All right, so after the file has finished downloading, you will now need to navigate to your downloads folder and then you'll see a zip folder. Go ahead and right click on that folder and click extract all. And after the prompt pops up, click on the button to extract uh, all the data from that compressed folder. It'll automatically create a new uh, uncompressed folder with all the data in it. And it'll actually automatically open up that folder for you. After that folder opens up, you will see a, a application file called Hyper Backup Explorer. Before we proceed to the next step, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a brief inf information. This is a portable file, meaning that it doesn't actually have to be installed on your computer. So you can take this uh, with you if you have uh, Synology NAS devices on multiple different physical locations uh, and uh, just run this from a flash drive or something like that and, and you don't necessarily have to install it on all the computers you want to use it from, which is a nice little uh, useful uh, feature. All right, so go ahead and launch the Hyper Backup Explorer application. It'll just launch because like I just mentioned, it doesn't actually have to install anything. Uh, and before we proceed though, I did want to make it clear that to use the Hyper Backup Explorer application, you will need to be on the same physical network as your Synology network, uh, NAS server, or at least connected to that physical network through a VPN software. The Hyper Backup Explorer does not support the Quick Connect ID system for remote access that a lot of Synology apps do support. Uh, so that is why you have to be either on the same physical network or connected to that physical network with a VPN uh, connection. All right, so this portion of the video will cover opening your backup image and navigating through that backup data. So to do so, click on the Browse Backup File option, and then that should bring up your Windows Explorer. At this point in time, click on your Network button or on the left-hand column, and then you should see your Synology listed in your computers. Uh, mine is called Stark Industry, so just double-click on your Synology to open it up. If you've never accessed your Synology NAS server over your Windows Explorer, you will be prompted for a username and password. This will be the same username and password credentials that you use to log in through the web portal. So enter those and you can click on the Remember Me button. Uh, I've already done so, that's why I didn't have to be enter my username and password. So if you are planning on using this fairly regularly, I do recommend doing that just so you don't have to constantly enter your, your username and password. So at that point in time, it should bring up a folder uh, with all of the shared folders on your Synology NAS server uh, that your user has access to. Uh, my backups folder where I have stored all my backup data is conveniently called backups. So you just wanna find the folder that you have made that does have all your backup data in it and just double click on that. You should now see a listing uh, with a bunch of folders uh, for each backup task that you have set up on your Synology NAS device. On this Synology, I only have a single backup task uh, for my daily backups because I do my longer term backups on a different Synology device. But if you do have multiple backup tasks, you should see all of those listed here. They should all have the .hbk file extension uh, in, uh, for that folder. So just click on the uh, backup that you're trying to access the data from. And then inside of that backup folder, you should see a .bkpi file. That is gonna be the image file for your backup. So you wanna click on that and then click on the open folder. At this point in time, it will now open that backup image and you should be able to navigate through all the folders that you've chosen to backup uh, for that image. 
So you can see here that I have backed up uh, some subfolders from the interstellar shared folder. And you can, see, you can see I can click on these folders and navigate through them just as if they're on the Windows Explorer. You can't open files directly from here. Like I try to click on this uh, PNG file, which is a screenshot I took uh, when playing PUBG where we won the chicken dinner. Uh, you can't open these like you could on uh, the file explorer, but you can navigate through those. And if you just want to do this just to check to make sure that your data is being backed up, that is the easy way to just navigate through and just double check that everything is going to be is being backed up. All right, so moving on to how to actually restore data from your backup image. So for this portion of the video, I'm gonna run through two different scenarios. The first of which is gonna be, say you have a project that you've been working on for weeks, you've poured tons of man hours into, and you accidentally deleted it. It's not in your recycle bin, it's permanently gone forever, and now you're freaking out. Luckily, you made a backup on your Synology, so you can just restore that. So what I'm gonna do is I've opened up my uh, shared folder or my Synology over in Windows Explorer. I'm just gonna to navigate to the same part I am with my backup. So I'm just gonna navigate over to Interstellar and then I'm gonna click on my Dropbox folder and say for example, this winner winner chicken dinner uh, screenshot from PUBG is actually a project file for a big video you've been editing, a big research paper you've been typing up or you know, like a 3D model that you've been spending tons of uh, time and energy into, say that's deleted. Say it's permanently gone forever. Uh, you can't find it on your recycle bin. It's nowhere to be found. Uh, now you're freaking out, but luckily you have made a backup on your Synology uh, server. So what you need to do is over in your Hyper Backup Explorer, just click on the file, or actually you can restore entire folders if the whole folder has disappeared and uh, vanished into the ether. Uh, but I'm just gonna restore the winner winner file just because that's what I deleted. Uh, so what you need to do is just right click on the file or the entire folder and click copy to. Since I want to restore this back to where it came from, I'm just gonna click on my network. I'm gonna navigate back to my Synology and I'm gonna navigate to that same exact spot uh, where that file came from, so Interstellar Dropbox. And that is the root folder from where that file was found. So I'm just gonna select that folder and then it's gonna automatically restore that file. So now I can click on that. The file's back, the project that I spent tons of time working on, it's back and I now have my tons of man hour back or just my silly screenshot from when I actually won a game of PUBG. All right, so say uh, you have also been working on a project and say it's a 3D model or 3D CAD file for instance, you saved it, uh, but at one point in time you made a divergence and it kind of became something different from what you initially imagined. And some uh, programs you can only undo so many times, it only stores so many in memory. So say you want to retain that project folder in the spot that it is now, but say you just want to throw one on your desktop uh, that is just an older version. So you want to restore yesterday's version, open it up and see if it might be at a state where you can uh, take that model to maybe more of your original vision. So you can do the same exact process, just right click on that folder or file, click copy to, and instead of going back to your Synology where you stored it to, I'm just gonna store that to my desktop. All right, so that should be a pretty good uh, walkthrough on how to utilize the Hyper Backup Explorer. I've showed you how to or open your backup image, how to navigate through that backup data, and how to actually restore your data using the Hyper Backup Explorer and using two different scenarios, uh, whether you want to restore that backup data to where it originally came from, or you want to restore an older version so you can have two different versions of the same file uh, for a project that you're working on so you can maybe go back to an older version and work from that to match your original vision of what you're working on. There's a lot of different use cases for that. If it's a big research paper, maybe you deleted a couple paragraphs and later decided that you want portions of those paragraphs later on down in the essay or your research paper or the example I gave in the video of a 3D file, you can now do that. And so those two scenarios should be a good uh, example to how to utilize the Hyper Backup Explorer for multiple different scenarios in your daily life. All right, so that's it for today's video. Hopefully this video was informative as well as enjoyable at the same time. If it was, give it a big like. I greatly appreciate that, guys. Also, if you're not already an existing subscriber, smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for more great videos from Thought Provoking Tech. And until next time, Zach out.